<laughs> On Funniest Pets and People, a monkey makes a splash. The guy says, lunch is on me. A dapper athlete scores a perfect 10. A diving dog gets a mouthful. A striking young lady. And a parakeet who's well trained. It's all coming up next. It's the show that will have you sit, stay, laugh, and beg for more. Welcome to Funniest Pets and People. The folks in these next clips all have gifts, and they're sharing them with you. This talented simian has decided to show off by taking a few laps in the pool. Which is fine, but the lifeguards draw the line at letting him in a jacuzzi. Fishing. It takes a steady hand and plenty of patience. In fact, you can sit in a boat for an entire day and never... Well, I am clearly doing it all wrong. All right, I'm Blair. Hi, Blair. Hi, Brad. Okay. <laughs> Folks, I don't care what kind of cereal you use for this trick. The bottom line is these guys are a couple of flakes. <laughs> At least clean up as a snap. Just toss Blair in the dishwasher and you're good to go. This talented doggy is what is known as a triple threat. He sings, he plays keyboard, and he dances. You know, when he's not singing and playing keyboard. <laughs> Velma has suffered from terrible allergies for years, but she's finally found a solution. She's trained her talented dog, Rex, to fetch her tissues. I think it'll dawn on Velma that she's allergic to Rex. <laughs> the owner calls this talent Dog Catches Frisbees. We're more inclined to call it Dog Cleans Yard. I hope you RSVP'd, because it's party time. Okay, if you've ever been to a party, you know how a piñata works. One good smack and treats for everybody, right? <laughs> Wait, isn't Candy supposed to pour out of his head? Probably want to crack up? <laughs> then check out these bird brains. Here's some birds heading upstairs, but I get the feeling they're forgetting something. What could it be? The mail? No. Bird seed? Hmm. Oh, I know what they forgot. They can fly! <laughs> you go, birdie. Shake your tail feather. And if you don't have enough of them, then you can make your tail feather. Don't worry, honey. Nobody knows it's a weave. If you want a cat but your landlord won't allow it, Polly here is the next best thing. And if you want the full cat experience, Polly can even be trained to act aloof and scratch up your furniture. But what if you want a dog? Hey, don't worry, we got you covered. All aboard! Next stop, the cage. All passengers headed to the cage have your tickets ready. An attendant will be by to assist you. If you're not headed for the cage, please note the next stop is the nest. If you're headed for the nest, please say, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Prepare for deboarding. And now for his first trick, the great Birdini will escape from his cage. 
And now for his first trick. The very good Birdini will escape from his cage. Oh dear. And now for his final trick, Birdini will stay put. I think that's an interesting thing. This one piece will make 52 layers. Watch on mobile devices or the big screen. All for free. No subscription required. Oh, this bird had it all planned. He got up at 6 a.m. Today was the day he was finally going to do it. And then the unthinkable. He realized that he had lost his car keys. <laughs> Too bad for you, early bird. Today, someone else is going to get the worm. Martha and Polly loved to play peekaboo for two reasons. One, it brought them closer together. And two, they were more evenly matched than when they played word games. <laughs> and the second bird is about to introduce them to a new game. The game of love. It's time for Funniest Pets and People Unleashed. In baseball, you need to keep your eye on the ball. In hockey, you need to keep your eye on the puck. In fishing, you should definitely keep your eye on the fish. Hey, don't worry, guys. You caught him once. You'll catch him again. Hmm. A little girl and a bowling ball. What's going to happen here? A, she's going to drop the ball on his toe. B, she's going to slip and fall on her bottom. Or C, she's going to bowl a strike. The answer? Well, this was a trick question. I guarantee you never thought this would happen. Whoa! Samantha! Hey, looks like a 7-10 split. Everyone likes parties, but for Rex, the fun doesn't start until everyone goes home. You think he's good at cleaning up balloons, you should see him put away the cake. Winter, it's the most wonderful time of the year. But it does have its dangers. The snowball to the face, the toboggan spill. Oh, and of course, the dreaded sled-on collision. He was born mild-mannered Peter Barker, but after a radioactive spider bite, he transformed into the amazing spider dog. All the laziness of a dog with all of the strength and agility of a spider. Cats be warned. This is one doggy you can't avoid by climbing a tree. There's nothing quite like the bond shared by young men growing up. Ooh, that's got to hurt. <laughs> Let's see that again in slow motion. These guys are so close, they'll even drive each other to the emergency room. Now, for a lot of people, lunch is a break from work. Harold, however, works harder during lunch than he does the rest of the day. Good thing he's having carrots. This wouldn't work quite so well with yogurt. Boy, Rex has a lot of stress in his life, and that's why tetherball is the perfect sport for him. The ball is the exact same size and shape as the mailman's head. Spike is a new rare breed. He's half border collie, half kangaroo. She's preparing his favorite meal, kibble and Vegemite. Beautiful places, open spaces. It's the great outdoors. Oh, how 
How cute. They trained this little guy to go down the slide. Yay. Oh, and look at that. The doggy's doing it, too. That's adorable. This screwy squirrel has it all mixed up. He lives in the great outdoors. I mean, there's a beautiful tree right there, and yet he'd rather climb on some puny rope. I just think he's a person. I'll bet he'd pass up a pile of nuts just to eat a cheeseburger. Red Rover, Red Rover, let Boo Boo come over. Red Rover, Red Rover, let Baloo come over. Red Rover, Red Rover, let Yogi come over. Trigger always wondered what the grass tasted like on the other side of the fence. Well, he finally figured out a way to taste it, and it tastes just like the grass on his side of the fence. Mama. Hey, it's Tom and Tom, the only Siamese twin turkeys in the world. Feast your eyes as they carefully navigate the barnyard, each step a modern miracle. And Siamese twin turkeys can mean only one thing. Some lucky family is gonna have the best Thanksgiving ever. This horse has been indoors all day at the horse show, prancing for judges and high-stepping around the corral. But when he gets home, he shakes off those blue ribbons and just cuts loose in the mud. You go, horsey. You earned it. This moose wants to take a nap in the great outdoors. Just lie in the hammock and let his cares melt away. His biggest care of the day? Well, that would be not knowing how to get into the hammock. Take a look at America's newest hope for soccer success. As the video shows, he's got great peripheral vision, and he never lets the ball go through his legs. You'd have to get up pretty early in the morning to find a player with more talent than this guy. He's not chicken. Watch Daddy. Everybody, time to go for a spin in some cool rides. These firemen answered a call to rescue a cat in a tree. Guess which one of the firemen vetoed it? Why pull two dogs in an inner tube? Well, because they couldn't find a place to rent eight tiny skis. You'd think it'd come naturally, but Rex still needed help learning the dog paddle. <laughs> How cool is this ride? The best thing about sheep rodeo? No matter how ornery the sheep, he's still gonna make a nice sweater. Benji has a plan. Start with a tricycle, move up to a bicycle, then a unicycle by the end of the summer. Dare to dream, Benji. You've heard of Easy Rider? Well, this is Cool Rider. Heading out on his two-wheeled knife to cut a swath through this country from New York to LA. Cool Rider is on his way to your town. Now, from a distance, this swing looks like a really cool ride. But up close... Eh, not so much. You know what I've got a taste for? More funny videos! 
They say milk does a body good, but that's when you're drinking it, not when you're supplying it. And it looks like the universal rule for human children applies to pigs as well. When mom won't help out, try dad. Hey, that's a doggy door. The raccoon door is on the other side of the house. Although this is, this is kind of cute. I think we can all agree that this is cute. All of us, that is, except the hungry dog. Winston here is Dana's baby. She spoon feeds him when he's hungry, burps him, and attends to every detail. Sure, it's cute now, but it's gonna be awkward when she signs him up for kindergarten. Here's some friendly advice. If a hungry bird asks if he can pick your brain, you say, no. You know, cat food companies would have you believe that hungry cats are finicky and have sophisticated palates. And they're right. That box is made from only the finest imported cardboard. <laughs> 98, 99, 100. Ready or not, here comes this video. Spirit, this is not your bear. It's a friend's bear. This woman thinks she's hiding her teddy bear from her dog. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. When your dog is six feet long and weighs 140 pounds, that's not your teddy bear. That's his teddy bear. Heck, I'm not even sure it's still your house. For these next clips, we're taking it to the streets. Frenchie was tired of being so short, so he learned to dance on his hind legs. No more being called a three-inch wonder. Now Frenchie is a six-inch wonder. <laughs> Have you ever wondered what's going on behind the scenes at the kennel after you drop your dogs off for the weekend? <laughs> well, now you know. Now, there is no way this dog can jump over that guy. <laughs> oh. But there's no way he can jump over two guys. <laughs> wow. Come on, three? Three is completely out of it. Ha <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Fluffy wanted to play an instrument, and it seemed like the piano was his best choice. Wasn't his first choice, but he kept getting too much drool in his tuba. <laughs> Ring around the rosy, pocket full of posy, ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Fellas, we all fall down. Anytime now, guys, fall down. Hello, anyone? <sighs> Play Duck Duck Goose. Here's a performer who really knows how to... Uh, what's that phrase I'm looking for? Uh, mm, knock him... No, no, what is it? Uh, oh, I know! Bowl him over! Nice! After Kevin from HR broke his ankle in the sack race last year, the boss started looking for a new event for the company picnic. Attention all employees, put down your potato salad, it's time for the musical rings competition. <laughs> Sit, stay, roll over. Come on, why bother with those commands when you can teach your dog something really useful?
If he could only teach his dog to play pool, this guy would never have to go out on a Friday night. Do you know a funny pet or person? Are you a funny pet or person? Well, tape your pet or yourself doing something funny and send it to Funniest Pets and People, P.O. Box 7898, Burbank, California, 91505-9998. Make sure no animals or people are harmed in the making of your video, and please include your phone number. If we use it on the show, we'll send you $100 on a Funniest Pets and People t-shirt. Play it cool. A girl gone wild. And a hamster in a tight space. So get ready to tear into the fun. It's the show that will have you sit, stay, laugh, and beg for more. Welcome to Funniest Pets and People. These animals want to show off what they can do. <laughs> Lucky for them, they're already on TV. Here you go, boy. That's it. Go get it. This owner thinks, wow, my dog is having the time of his life. And this dog is thinking, God. My owner has lousy aim. Now look at what this furry fella can do. He can sort out envelopes and deliver them. As soon as he's done learning to drive the truck, he'll be replacing your mailman. Now here are a bunch of people in a tour bus making the big mistake of laughing at a bear just trying to scratch himself on a road sign. You better hope that thing is really solid. <laughs> no, no, not the sign. The tour bus. This dog figures if the bears, broncos, and dolphins can play football, why not him? <laughs> you heard a log rolling? Well, say hello to hog rolling. Check out what this little pup can do. He races out as fast as his legs can carry him to retrieve the mail. It's not that he's so well trained. He just thinks he might have won Publisher's Clearinghouse. Wow. Between this dog and the rat, maybe we'll start getting our mail on time. Just when you really need to go, Someone else is using the fire hydrant. <laughs> now, I bet you wonder what this cat's doing. Well, let's just say on Halloween, somebody's doghouse is going to be TP'd like crazy. <laughs> Dog camping tips. 
You know, I kind of doubt he read the Boy Scout manual. Because this way, it's going to take him a really long time to start a fire. Check out this amazing winning pass from the quarterback. Amazing, right? Let's look at it again. Boy, this guy really listened when the coach told him to keep his head in the game. <laughs> These next clips are fall down funny. Check them out. Yeah, that's a cute little mini horse he's a setting out to ride. But you know what they say about what comes in small packages. Yup, big hospital bills. Ah, the majestic cheetah. The very name cheetah evokes thoughts of agility, quickness, sleekness. Spastic, clumsy, and dorkish. Now, most young girls would be a little frightened handling a live snake. Ah, but not this girl. She's totally, completely, insanely frightened. I guess this kitty has to learn the hard way. It's called Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Not Cats on a Hot Tin Roof. That's a different show altogether. Oh, yeah. I'm a cat. I'm so bad because I'm a cat. I'm cool. I'm slick. Can I yeet you down? I'm a cat. I'm so... What are you looking at? Look at the way this duck is holding onto that guy's leg. He just won't let go. And he can't do anything about it because he's also holding his kid. He's stuck. Which leads to the obvious question why isn't the woman putting down the video camera and helping? Who says two animals of different species can't get along? We do. Now, here's a squirrel trying to climb up a pole to get to that bird feeder. And I mean, nothing is going to stop him. Unless the pole is greased. Yeah, that'll do it every time, that greased pole thing. By the way, parents, you can use this same technique to keep your teenagers from the car keys. Donna, what did I say about climbing around in the superconducting particle accelerator? Now get out of there this instant! They say animals relieve stress. That is, except when they're causing it. Look at the creative way Rex has found to get out his aggression. Really tears into him. Ripping that couch to shreds. Yeah, it's a really great way to relieve stress. Unless it happens to be your couch. The following is an actual Car Star call. Hello, this is Car Star. How can I assist you? Yeah, I'm being chased by a couple of huge horses. Uh-huh. What kind of horses, sir? I think they're Palominos. Got it. And what is your location, sir? Uh, it's a giant corral somewhere. Okay, just relax. Is anyone hurt? No, not yet, but one of the horses just tried to trample me. Came pretty close. 
Well, we have you located and we're sending assistance. Okay, but could you make it quick? I'm almost out of batteries. <laughs> now here's one turtle who has figured out a clever way of avoiding stress. <laughs> it's called being a turtle. <laughs> Well, as it turns out, it's not a dog-eat-dog -dog world after all. It's a dog-leap-dog -dog world. <laughs> and speaking of being wound up, this dog has decided he wants that baby's mittens in the worst way. And the shocking part? He hasn't returned the baby's rattle, go-kart, or sand shovel. And here's a classic case of the tail wagging the dog, wagging the wagging dog's tail, by the tail of the dog wagging the tail's dog. Just classic. <laughs> Kitty plans for the day. Chase this thing around for 30 seconds, and then sleep for 11 hours. Who is using my stinking hamster wheel. Stan thought one way to relieve stress was to teach his dog to play volleyball. And it is a great way to relieve stress. <laughs> your dog doesn't like to trash talk. Dan, you hit like a girl. In your face, Danny boy. Great shot. Not. <laughs> take that! <laughs> what will it take to get Belly to react? A. A giant crab pinching his toe. B. A tidal wave. Or C, an asteroid plummeting to Earth. I'm sorry, the correct answer was nothing will get Billy to react. When an animal gets in a tight squeeze, there's only one thing to do, laugh at him. All units in the area near the playground, we have a canine B&E in progress. That's a canine barking and entering. In progress. Suspect is packing fleas and is a known slobberer. Let's be careful out there, people. Hey, I wonder what happens if I chase this toy through this hole. Okay, that wasn't good. Maybe if I yank myself around. No, no, that wasn't good. Hey, bro, can you lend a paw over here? Okay, that was a bad move. Hey, come on. Uh, okay, that's that's better. Hey, that's not funny. Okay, well, gotta look on the bright side. At least you're not the dog. Oh, man. Hey, everyone in the pool. <laughs> Or, no, just me in the pool. Ticket or no ticket, this is one hamster who is determined to see the new Stuart Little sequel. Hey, this chipmunk really loves pistachios. Yeah, it's funny. But what can you do? It's a normal instinct to stuff your face with so much food it doubles in size. Humans just call it Thanksgiving. Where is that hamster? I can laugh at his clapping routine. I mean, yeah, I, 
I get it, it's cute and all, but... Dude, I can't laugh at this anymore. But I, I don't want to break her heart. No, 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 I'll keep going till she tires out. But please, let it be soon. Ah, the games people and animals play. Look at this dog playing along. It's not that he's so good at jumping rope. It's that that patio is hot. Why, might you ask, is this bunny rabbit playing cards? Because he's too short to pull the one-armed bandit. Watching the Animal Billiards Classic, where reigning champion Minnesota Pete is tearing up the competition with amazingly long corner shots. He's using an unorthodox shot pattern here. I'm not quite sure what his strategy is. I think he's trying to break up the table to make it impossible for the competition to line up a shot. No, I think he's just mad at the balls. Yep, he's just mad at the balls. You're getting a glimpse of Callie, the world's best cat chess player. How do you get to be the world's best cat chess player? Well, mostly by being the world's only cat chess player. I bet you never expected to see a bird that could play Scrabble well. That's because there are none. This bird can't play to save his life. I mean, come on, it took him 11 hours to spell out Zukjik, and then he ate the tea, which frankly is even bad for a bird. Hey, everybody, it's time to play Junka! A game of such incredible difficulty and tension that the object is to get through it without one of your teammates toppling over. Whoops! Sandra gave way! Oh, too bad! Better luck next time, Billy! Look at this little tyke handle the ball. Yeah, you may think he's cute, but he just signed a pro contract for three million over five years plus an SUV filled with fruit roll-ups. Ah, uh, the memories of teaching your kid baseball. The horrible, painful memories. Dog will do now. Yeah. Okay. Wait right there. Okay. Now, I want you to ease up to it. Sneak up on it. Get closer. Take a step. That's too close. Back up. Turn around. Get closer. Get closer. Turn the other way. All right, sneak up on it. Get closer. All right, now I'm going to count to three. Now, when I say three, you get that ball, but don't you get it till I say three. He, he said three several times. Yeah. When he get the ball. Well, how am I going to tell him when to get it without telling him when I say three, you can get it? What am I going to do, say, when I say, you know what, you can get it? <laughs> he understands. Why don't you? I said three, too. All right. Let's do this right. Get closer. Get closer. All right. One. <laughs> two. Seven. Okay, I'll be nine. Nine, eleven, three. <laughs> now don't take these next clips too seriously, because we're just horsing around. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is good. Uh, nothing better than this. Except that. Except that. That's nice there. Yeah, it's a big uh, horsey B day. I'm not gonna take it, see? I've had enough of this slop to eat. A horse can only take so much. Now wait, wait a minute. I, I like slop. Now here are a couple of horses who like their oats. Oh, 
Look at that horse's manners. Where was he raised? In a barn? We now return to the synchronized trotting competition, where the Albanians are opening with an impressively forceful beat. Note the tight formation. And they switch on a dime to, of all things, hip-hop. Most surprising, Eric. It takes an Albanian to pull that off, Darlene. And now, a reverse switchback. And we're on to old Broadway. Yes, we've got to give it to them, Darlene. They know they're trotting. Do you know a funny pet or person? Are you a funny pet or person? Well, tape your pet or yourself doing something funny and send it to Funniest Pets and People, PO Box 7898, Burbank, California, 91505-9998. Make sure no animals or people are harmed in the making of your video, and please include your phone number. If we use it on the show, we'll send you $100 on a Funniest Pets and People t-shirt. If anyone can think of a reason why these next clips should not be watched, speak now or forever hold your peace. Something old, something new, something borrowed, something black and blue. This groom is about to take part in the time-honored tossing the garter and losing your balance clumsily and falling over tradition. Call me old-fashioned, but I always laugh at weddings. Weddings are like marriage. You never know what's gonna happen. The good news? Well, they were able to string tin cans and a just married sign to the back of the ambulance. On Funniest Pets and People, some little dogs make a big mess. A kid who gets all wet. A water balloon that's a real hit. A dancing duo that leaves them in the dust. And some munching mallards. So don't look away. It's the show that will have you sing, stay, laugh, and beg for more. Welcome to Funniest Pets and People. These next clips are dino might. Each year at this time, these Florida fish swim upstream. Now for most, it's a grueling, arduous journey. But some fish have found an easier way to get there. Oh, yeah! A wild drive! We got that one coming in the boat, Earl. Finally got one coming in the boat. Whatever drinking is. <laughs> you see this as a boat. The fish see it as a taxi. <laughs> Timmy's got the best Halloween costume I've ever seen. The only problem is it's so authentic. He forgot a place for his thumbs. And now he can't hold his candy carrier. <laughs> These ducks are having a good time at the picnic. But the real fun starts when we break out the corn on the cob. There's a new restaurant in the neighborhood, and everyone just loves it. On the downside, they only serve one thing. But on the upside, the price is right. Rex here is utterly baffled. What is that thing? It's too small to be a cat, and it's too fast to be a mouse. So there's only one way to figure out what it is. Oh, oh, yeah. 
And now it's time for a math lesson. 800 doggies plus three bowls of food equal one big mess. Now, we've all seen birds flying, and sometimes we see them walk around a bit. But when they think no one's looking, birds do what they really love to do. They dance! Reason number 138 not to play hide the ball from your dog during summer. Because bite marks on your stomach don't look so great at the beach. Teaching your bulldog to walk down a slide? That's a pretty good trick. But how's he gonna get back up the slide? Go back. Wow, now that's a great trick. Walking your dogs is a good time. Skateboarding is a good time, too. Walking your dogs while skateboarding is an awesome time. <laughs> you know what's not awesome? I'm trying to stop. <laughs> These neck videos are for the kid and all of us. Little Tanya loved everything about going fishing. Being in a boat with the other kids, the smell of the great outdoors. There's only one thing Tanya didn't like about fishing. <laughs> that would be the fish. Poor girl. <laughs> now, at first glance, that doesn't seem like a fair fight at all. I mean, come on, that guy's twice the size of that little girl. But she's a black belt, and that means she knows the one move that will even up any fight. <laughs> Say cheese. Say cheese, honey. <coughs> Say ouch. <laughs> Timmy had a lifelong dream to pet a dolphin. The dolphin also had a lifelong dream to splash an unsuspecting little boy. Some only get to live their dream once. Ah, but these two are twice as lucky. The first casualty in a water balloon war is always the little sister. And the second casualty? The little sister. For this kid, things are looking up. But his bird is really going downhill. Yeah, what's up, Doc? Well, business. Ever since this cottontail started helping out with the cash register, That's a lot of lettuce. <laughs> Gentlemen, start your funny. <laughs> Welcome to the Chasing Cars Academy. It's the school where dogs learn about chasing cars in a fun and safe environment. Fluffy here looks like he's got a great eye, so he's ready for the road. Look out, drivers! Rex hated chasing cars, big or small. 
Really? I mean, he loathed it. But there was no denying it. When it came to chasing cars, Rex was the best. <laughs> you know how kids have imaginary friends, right? Well, Sparky here has an imaginary friend, too, Fido. And right now, Sparky is chasing Fido around the yard. Oh, no, wait, 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 my mistake. No, right now, it's Sparky who's being chased around by Fido. Maybe I was right the first time. <laughs> These two dogs are a study in concentration. All of their attention is focused on that toy truck. Man, they're having the time of their lives. But you know who's really happy right now? The cat. <laughs> And turning to traffic, it's bumper to bumper all over the cage this morning, folks. You're gonna want to veer to the right and keep those claws in. Let's all try to stay safe out on the road today, all right? Thank you. You hear it all the time. It's important to remember to keep your dog on a leash. But I guess no one ever adds the crucial second step. You gotta hold on to the leash. because otherwise you're not walking your dog. Your dog is walking you. <laughs> now it's time for Funniest Pets and People Unleashed. And the winner of Ethel's Living Room Talent Show for the 21st week in a row, Ethel and her doggy Balloon Buster Dance. Sure, the washing machine gives Timmy a giant headache, but it also gives him a lovely singing voice. <laughs> Just listen to that vibrato. <laughs> and now it's time for the amazing Diving Brother. The amazing part is, the youngest brother didn't end up in the hospital. Man, Santa's gonna have a hard time getting down that chimney. It's gonna take the wink of his eye, a twist of his head, and a whole lot of bat food. This couple really knows how to tango. And the big finish is the dip. Wait, did I say dip? <laughs> I meant slip. Hey, that looks like a Lone Ranger's horse, Silver. A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi yo ow. That horse really puts the mean in Palomino. That cork is gonna hit this fella right in the eye. That cork is absolutely gonna hit him in the eye. It's gonna hit him in the eye. I, I, I know it. Wow! I totally didn't see that coming. species feeding frenzy. So what kind of food are they all going crazy over? Oh, fish like worms, right? And ducks like bread. Aha! It's worm bread! Delicious worm bread. Oh, look, the cute little baby. And what's this? The ferret wants to give the baby a kiss. Oh, 
That's the sweetest ferret ever. Stealing his pacifier? That's the rudest ferret ever. <laughs> hey, everyone, it's Christmas. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Uh, oh, it's 1159? Not Christmas yet, huh? Oh, okay, well, let's wait. <laughs> Any minute now. Hmm. Oh, this eggnog is it's fabulous. Hey everyone, it's Christmas! Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. A friend in breed is a friend indeed. They see a person sees a coffee table as a place to put his feet up or show off some books. These three friends see it as an indoor track. to tell who's winning when they keep changing directions. When Molly was a little girl, she wanted two things, a jack-in-the-box and a puppy. Now that she's older, she can have both at the same time. Now, dog may be man's best friend, but that doesn't necessarily mean he's the best choice for a nanny. Good girl. This raccoon is entranced by the smell of feet. He'll chase a pair around for hours. Seems kind of strange? Well, remember, this is an animal who lunches in garbage cans. So the aroma of stinky feet to him is what the smell of warm apple pie is to you. Why is this gecko so happy? Well, it's simple. He just saved a ton of money on his turtle insurance. Now, good friends always got your back. In this case, Peanut is constantly getting on your back. <laughs> Goldie sure liked Gil. Her only complaint was that when they smooched, he was a really wet kisser. Goldie's gonna have to tell him. She just wants to be friends. Here's a duo that's set to shake up the music scene. Their first song, La Horsa Racha. It's fun to go out to eat with your friends, but it's always a hassle when the check comes. Okay, who had the bread? Good luck dividing the tip by 200. <laughs> this game is just like leapfrog, except instead of leaping, they're hopping. And instead of frogs, they're rabbits. And they're hopping over the front, not the back. So I guess it's nothing like leapfrog. Just, you know what, forget I said that. Suit up and lace up, because we're about to kick off some more funny. Hockey players are built tough, and they have to be. I mean, hockey is a rough game. You never know when you're going to be tripped or smashed into the glass or... Given a high five by a teammate. In football, the defender's job is to follow the ball carrier, then use his own body as a heat-seeking missile, taking down everything in his path. Unless, of course, what's in your path is the coach. <laughs> He's at the 30-yard line, at the 20, the 10, the 5. At the 5. 
what this kid is doing is following the first rule of entertainers. You know, just leave them wanting more. <laughs> In basketball playoffs, everyone has to step up their game. And that means no one should be afraid to give a hard foul. Even the cameraman. No tough crowds here. These videos are for the easily amused. The Eskimos have nine words for snow. They don't have any word for fooling a penguin into chasing your shadow. <laughs> However, we do. Hilarious. <laughs> Did you ever buy a fantastic Christmas present for a kid? spend hours building it, and then all he wants to do is play with the packaging? <laughs> Same thing happens with ferrets. <laughs> this guy's taking his dog to the park to play fetch with a bowling ball. Well, now, that's just ridiculous. I bowl every Tuesday night, and I know for a fact there's no way a dog can pick up a... Whoa. I get that pooch on my teeth. Now, this cat is either the world's best feather duster spinner, or he's the world's worst housekeeper. <laughs> Do you know a funny pet or person? Are you a funny pet or person? Well, tape your pet or yourself doing something funny and send it to Funniest Pets and People, PO Box 7898, Burbank, California, 91505-9998. Make sure no animals or people are harmed in the making of your video. And please include your phone number. If we use it on the show, we'll send you $100 on a Funniest Pets and People t-shirt. Shotzi here has invented the new dance sensation that's sweeping the nation. It's the blow-dry boogie. Work up a sweat while staying completely dry. See you next time.